Good evening, welcome to Rochester High School for this non-conference volleyball match between the Colbert Girls Academy Eagles and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, let's see both teams. First, the non-starters for Colbert Girls Academy. Number three, Natalie Payne. Number nine, Ava Ford. And number 12, Sophia Dickey. And now the starters, number one, Sonia Shepard. Number two, London Beckelheimer. Number five, Sloan Bird. Number eight, Logan Vermont. Number 11, Mimi Smith. And number 14, Lila Trevor. Then you go for coach with Jennifer Gardner. And now for your Rochester ladies, here are the non-starters. Number two, Kyra Dorn. Number four, Kaylee McCarty. Number nine, Emma Murphy. And number 13, Jaden Field. And the starters, a freshman, number seven, McKenna McKee. A freshman, number 11, Riley Strasser. A sophomore, number 14, Avery Montel. A freshman, number 16, Sophia Cruz DeSantis. A freshman, number 21, Gabby Medina. And a freshman, number 26, Jenna Cypher. Rochester coach by Rebecca Bullinger.
Tongue out, watch it.
Diego. Rochester wins the first set, 25 20.
Come out and get it.
Over the girls are going to move the second set, 25-20.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, those who are able, please rise. Gentlemen, Tyler Ruger Cats, as we honor America with the playing of the national anthem. Okay, good evening and welcome to Rochester High School for this non-conference volleyball match between the Culver Girls Academy Eagles and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time we'll meet both teams, first the non-starters for the Culver Girls Academy. Number three, Abby Salem. Number eight, Erin Zhu. Number ten, Elise Quant. And number fifteen, Sloan Littleton. And the starters. Number two, Jalen McGrath. Number five, Megan Gifford. Number six, Gigi Crowley. Number seven, Amelia Binkley. Number 12, Liv Fuming. Number 13, Jenna Kerr. And number 17, Lila Desrick. The Eagles are good, but Matt Bowman, assisted by Lori Elliott, Zena Newland, Jess Kerr, Jenna Gartner, and Don Galloway. And now for your Rochester ladies, the Eagles and Oscars. Number 8, Ella Hayes. Number 17, Mia Hanashev. Number 18, Keaton Moore. And now your starters. A junior, 5 3, number 3, Riley Clanger. A 5'4 junior number 10, Dara Strasser. A 5'6 junior number 23, Lily Lett. A 5'9 junior number 24, Audrey Boyer. A 5'3 freshman wearing zero, Logan Hawkeye. A 5'6 freshman number 5, Riley Hunter. And a 5'6 freshman number 12, Rochester Kirk, Berlina Strasser, assisted by Stacey Wilson and Rebecca Boyer. Tonight's official, Brad Weaver, Bill Hunter. Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome here to Rochester High School. Tonight's non-conference matchup between the visiting Culver Academy Lady Eagles and your Rochester Zebras. Glad to be with you here tonight. Val, I think, is going to be joining me in a minute, but uh, I haven't seen him just yet. For the Eagles, it's going to be a sophomore, Jalen McGrath, a senior, Megan Gifford, a junior, Gigi Crowley, 
a sophomore, Amelia Binkley, a senior, Liv Fumick, a junior, Jenna Kerr, and a freshman, Lily Deserich. For the Rochester Zebras, junior Riley Clevenger, junior Dara Strasser, junior Lily Lett, junior Audrey Bullinger, freshman Logan Honkamp, freshman Braylon Hunter, and freshman Aubrey Wilson. So Lily Lett back in the lineup tonight for the Rochester Zebras as they look to Pick up another win here. This is a very good Culver Eagles team coached by Matt Boland. Matt Matt has been the Matt has been the head coach of the Eagles uh, for quite a while. I don't know the exact years, but probably close to 10 years for Coach Boland there. And we are underway here. The first serve of the match is into the net, so the Zebras will pick up the point. Going back to serve for Rochester is Aubrey Wilson. That one put down and a point for the Eagles. Squares is up at one. Going back to serve is number 17, the freshman Lila Deserich. Strasser free balls it across. Tip, Wilson handles it. Locked down, dug out by Bollinger. And that one is hit into the net by Kerr. Zebras pick up the point and Bullinger will go back to serve. Hake in for Rochester and Quant comes in for the Eagles. Bullinger will serve. Good recovery there. The Eagles able to get that free ball across. Let dug out by the Eagles. Overpass, blocked, down dug. Good dig there by Honkamp. Blocked out of bounds. Point to the Zebras. Logan Honkamp is uh, the libero here this evening. So the freshman getting the nod at libero. Bollinger sends it across, overpass, let, and that's gonna go down, point for the Eagles. Makes it three to two. How to shell will come in for Bollinger, back to serve now for the Eagles. Is Crowley. Strasser blocked the net, dug out by the Eagles. Strasser, good dig. Eagles able to recover. Get that one across. That one's going to drop down. Gifford with the kill for the Eagles. Evens it up at three here early in set number one. Crowley sends it across. Out of shell from the back row, blocked down. And the Eagles in front, four to three. Good dig by How to Shell keeps it alive, and the Zebra is able to pick up the point. Great dig there by Mia How to Shell. Kept that ball alive. And that'll send Lily Lett back to the service line for the Zebras.
That one is blocked. Hake with a nice block, but that one's going to drop down, and that's going to be a point for the Eagles. Back to serve is the junior, Jenna Kerr. Passed into the net. Makes it 6-4 in favor of the Eagles. And saw this a lot in the JV with the humidity. It's just uh, some moisture building up there on the floor. So we're ready to go here. Kerr sends it across. Good dig there by How to Shell. Not able to get that one across. Eagles take a 7 4 lead. Off the tape, How to Shell gets the dig. Strasser, good dig there in the back row by Crowley. Strasser just long. Makes that 8 4 now in favor of the Eagles. And that one drops in for the ace. And we got a timeout here by the Zebras, their first of the set. We'll take a break with them as well. Be back here with more on RTC Channel 4. Welcome back here at Rochester High School. It is the Eagles in front, 9-4. to four. They've got five straight points here to take that five-point lead. And Coach Strasser wanted to take a time out here and talk to her young group. Kerr sends it across. And that one hits the antenna. So point to the Eagles. Tipped over, and not able to get that one in. So another point here for the Eagles. Seven straight here for Culver. Kerr sends it across. Off the tape and down. That's gonna be an ace for Kerr. Those tape shots, if you can Manufacture those as a server are very deadly because you don't expect that from the other side, but it's not something you want to try to do. Of course, she, she does it two times in a row. Wilson able to uh, get that one across. And a shot, that one is put down. Hunter with the kill, finally getting the Eagles off of the service line. That'll put Dara Strasser back to serve for the Zebras. The 
Dinkley with a really good job of getting to that pass, and the Eagles are able to take advantage of that. Deserich back in. And I'll put Binkley back to serve for the Eagles, leading 13 to five here in set number one of the varsity contest. And the Zebra's able to get that one. And bring Clevenger back in. And it'll bring Bollinger back in. Clevenger will go back to serve. And Gifford puts that one home, the kill for Gifford. And she will go back to serve for the Eagles. Eagles leading 14 to six. Bollinger tips it across. Bad first pass, able to recover. Dinkley gets it across. And they're gonna call that four. It was uh, close to being blocked, but it uh, must've hit the tape. So they're gonna call four hits on the Zebras. Point to the Eagles. Gifford still on the service line here for the Eagles. Oh, a nice serve. Drops it right down in front of Strasser to the ace. Ten point advantage now for the Eagles. A couple other games of uh, note we got going on tonight as well. A big one over at Valley. And that was going to drop in as well. Valley hosting Northfield. So a big TRC matchup. Northfield looking Pretty good here in the early part of the season. So uh, uh, Valley has been as well. We talked about that on today's Talking Sports. And Gifford drops another ace in. And then a big one down at Caston in the Hoosier North Conference. The Comets hosting Pioneer. Of course, the Comets picked up the win over the Panthers. Uh, just a couple weeks ago in the Cass County invite, this is the regular season conference matchup between the two. Last I checked, the Varsity uh, Valley game was on uh, in the first set, so they got started. The Varsity uh, Cast and Pioneer game had not. They didn't start that one until 6 o'clock for JV. So get some updates for you on the scoring, or you can check those out on our website, rtc4.com as well. They are both streaming live. And that one into the net. So I'll send Wilson back to serve. Trailing by 11 here in set number one. Clevenger with a great job of getting that one back in play. Honkamp can't quite get it back up. It's going to drop. Lett had a nice play there. Clevenger had a nice play there. And Wilson a little slow getting up. She's, uh, she's good to go. Freshman Aubrey Wilson. Bollinger. Let off the block and down. Lily Let gets the kill. Oh, 
Marquant back in for the Academy. Hake and Hadeshell checking back in for the Zebras. Set number one here, the varsity contest. The JV contest went to the Eagles in three. Oh, good recovery there, the short set, bad timing. And uh, after recovering and getting that back across, Kerr able to drop that in for the kill. Let puts that one home, finds the corner. 21-10. Let will go back to serve. Hunter back in for Honkamp. And Ellen drops down right on the line. That'll bring Kerr back up to the service line for the Eagles. 22-10 in favor of the Eagles here in set number one. Kerr puts that one home, makes it 23-10. And the Zebras take their final timeout here in set number one. We'll take a break with them, be right back. All right, the Zebras take a timeout, trailing 23-10 here in set number one. Kerr sends it across. And that one's overpassed, and the Eagles make the Zebras pay on that one, setting up set point here for the Eagles. Kerr looking to put away set number one here. And Gifford puts that one down and the Eagles take set one. 25-10 over the Zebras. We'll take a break, come back with set number two here from Rochester High School in just a moment. Welcome back here to Rochester High School. The Eagles lead one set to zero. They win set number one, 25-10 over the Rochester Zebras. We've got Oh, uh, a little update here. We talked about a couple of other big volleyball matchups going on this evening. Tippecanoe Valley leads the Northfield Norse one set to zero. But it looks like Northfield is up 17-11 in set number two over at Valley. And down at Caston, it looks like we are uh, still a little bit away from getting going in that one with the varsity contest. Caston Comets and the Pioneer Panthers. Big conference matchup down in Fulton tonight. So 
We'll keep an eye on those two for you here again. The Eagles lead one set to zero as we move into set number two. That'll be Braylon Hunter starting off for the Zebras back at the service line as we get ready to go. Might be a little bit of a big football game coming up tomorrow evening here at Rochester. Of course, the battle for the bell coming up, Tippecanoe Valley and the Rochester Zebras, both teams coming in at 1-0. and And we are underway here in set number two. That one is off of the block and down for Deserich. Puts the Eagles ahead. She will go back to serve for the Eagles. And that one put down by Bullinger. So Val and I went uh, into the studio today and did our talking sports with Val. We will be airing that before the game tomorrow, but uh, going to be a lot of things going on tomorrow. We didn't have time to, in the schedule to do our filming, so check that out. That one will be up on the web on RTC4 as well. And a good little drop kill in there for Kerr. Puts that one home. Crowley sends it across. Strasser off the block and down. Dara Strasser with the kill. Hake will check back in for the Zebras. Bollinger will be back to serve 2-2 two, two here in set number two. Free ball across. Ooh, not a great set there by Wilson, and uh, Strasser can't track that one down. How to Shell will come in for Bullinger. And back to serve will be Jenna Kerr. And Kerr puts it in for the ace. No heights listed on the roster here for the Eagles, but looking at the Zebras versus the Eagles, I'm going to say Kerr is probably six foot or beyond. Pretty tall young lady. Outside, big block. That was Hake with the block. Strasser. Good dig there by the Eagles. Crowley with the dig. Ooh, almost into the net. Let can't get on top of that one, and it's going to go out. Crowley had to hit the brakes in a hurry there to stay out of the net for the Eagles, but she was able to do that. Kerr sends it across. Free ball from the Zebras. And Hake puts that one home. Big hit there by Ella Hake. Lily Lett will go back to serve for the Zebras. Puts it down for the ace. That one was inside the line there. It looked pretty close. Line judge called it in. Makes it 5-4. Gifford puts that one home. Serving for the Eagles, Amelia 
Inkley sends it across. Strasser pushes it over. Gifford, yeah, the lacrosse shot finds the line and in for a point. Great shot there by the senior, Megan Gifford. Puts that one home, makes it 7-4 in favor of the Eagles. Binkley sends it across. Zebras are out of system and it cost them. Not able to communicate very well on that uh, last hit and it goes into the net. Gifford again, Honkamp, and that one's going to be another point for the Eagles. Let's see if Coach Strasser wants to take a timeout here, trailing by five in set number two. Can let it go for a minute. Gifford again. Wilson sets it back across. And another shot there by Megan Gifford. Puts that one home. Makes the score 10-4. Good dig there by How to Shell. Zebra's able to keep that alive, but that's going to be four hits on Rochester. Strasser goes cross court, dug out that time by Deserich. Hunter can't get that one down, and it's going to be another point. Good block. Yes, four hits. No, well, they're going to say it was in the net, so Zebras catch a break. Finally break the serve of Binkley. That'll put Strasser back at the service line. 12-5 here in set number two in favor of the Eagles. Big hit there, good dig. And that one's gonna drop. Honkamp with the dig and it goes across. And the Eagles not able to handle it. Is that a back row kill from Honkamp on the dig? I mean, do you get a dig and a kill on the same shot? I don't know, but uh, great play there by the freshman. And that one uh, into the net. Deserich can't uh, get that one across. So a couple points here for the Zebras back to within five. Tipped over, Wilson digs it out, and again it drops on the Eagles side. That's two uh, times in the last three plays where a, a dig drops on the Eagles side. So Rochester finding a way to get some points here back to within four. Binkley, and it's kind of a bad set by Binkley, and it was uh, – Actually tipped across there, and uh, Rochester not able to handle it that time. So that will put Gifford at the service line here for the Eagles. Good serve. Nice dig there by Honkamp. Hake into the net. Drops down an ace. Gifford lead back up to seven now for the Eagles, and there is a timeout 
by the Zebras as they trail by seven here in set number two. All right, back here at Rochester High School, set number two, Eagles back out in front. Rochester had clawed their way back to a four-point deficit at 12-8, but three straight by the Eagles. Force a timeout from Coach Strasser. Gifford will be on the service line coming out of the timeout here for the Eagles. clean and dried. Gifford off the tape. And that one's going to go long. And not so much on that one as that one hits the tape and falls on the Eagles side. So the point goes to the Zebras and the ball goes back over. And Clevenger will check in and go back to serve. Bullinger in as well. Crowley drops that one down for the kill. McGrath back to serve for the Eagles. Uh, miscommunication there, Wilson and Honkamp both going after that one and not able to get it across. into the net. Hunter back to serve now for the Zebras. Like Bollinger was trying to bring it back over in two there as they were out of system, but not able to do that. Point for the Eagles makes it 19 to 10. Desrich back to serve for the Eagles. Going to go long. Salem back in for the Eagles. Wilson back to serve for the Zebras. Trailing 19 11 here in set two. Eagles lead one set to zero. Let blocked. And into the net, point for the Eagles. Crowley serving for the Eagles, sends it across. Let pokes it across. Binkley goes in two, catches the Zebras off guard. Makes it a 21-11 Eagles lead. And Gifford able to put that one down for the kill.
Crowley, the junior for the Eagles, sends it across. Drops that one down. Boy, Binkley gets that ball way down towards her head on that set. And the Zebras want to take their final timeout of the set, trailing 23-11 here in set number two. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Rochester High School. The Eagles lead 23-11 in set number two. And they lead one set to zero, so looking to move up to 2-0 here against the Rochester Zebras. So the Eagles team that's coming off of a sectional championship last year, of course winning that sectional over at Tippecanoe Valley. I think they've won the last three uh, sectionals that they've played in. So a lot of success for head coach Matt Boland and his Lady Eagles. Crowley sends it across. Blocked at the net. Overpass and Binkley puts it home. Putting us at set point here in set number two. Crowley and that one goes wide. Zebras stay alive. Haig and Hadeshell checking back into the lineup for Rochester. And Hadeshell will go back to serve for the Zebras. Somehow that one is dug out and it stays alive. Great play by the Zebras. I'll have to take a look at the replay on that one and see who got that dig. I think it might have been Wilson. Let. And that one's going to drop down. And that will be the set. The Eagles win 25-13 here in set number two and take a two sets to zero lead here in this matchup. We will take a break and come back for the third set here in just a moment on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here at Rochester High School. As we move into the third set, the Eagles lead two sets to zero, 25-10 in the first set. They win 25-13 in the second set. My uh, score update that I provided earlier was incorrect as the uh, I thought it was the varsity contest between Nor uh, Northfield and Valley, and apparently it was just the uh, JV still. So they are just in their warm-ups between JV and varsity at Valley. So I checked that uh, Caston Pioneer leads in set number one, 13 to eight. All right, here we go, set number three. Binkley goes in two. Wilson returns the favor. Out of system. And that one's going to go long. Hunter can't quite get that one to get down. And it will be the Eagles with the first point here in set number three. McGrath remains on the service line for the Eagles. Bollinger gets blocked, able to get the dig. Hunter. And that one is put down by Crowley. Clevenger, and that one's going to be hit down. Kerr with the kill for the Eagles. Hunter. 
Hunter long again. Makes it 4-0. going to go long for Crowley. Zebra's able to break McGrath's serve. Aubrey Wilson, the freshman, back to serve for Rochester. Overpass. Good placement there by Crowley, able to drop that one down. On that opening there in the middle of the Rochester defense. Desrich will go back to serve for the Eagles. And that's going to be four hits on the Zebras. Keep going, it's Rochester. Keaton Doran to check in here for the first time this afternoon, I believe, and Hunter will go out. Bollinger, and that's going to go just a little bit long for Audrey. Desrich sends it across. And down off of the block. And the Zebra's able to break the Eagles' serve. Hake comes in for Rochester. Back in for the Eagles is Quant. Bollinger back to serve. Strasser into the net. Out of shell in. Crowley serves, goes into the net. And Honkamp will go back to serve as Lett checks back in. Serve there by the freshman. Short set, now one is put home by Kerr. Big time hit there by Kerr. Junior middle hitter, Kerr. And she will go back to serve with the Eagles leading 9-3. Pass into the net. I think they're out of hits, though, unfortunately. So that will make it 10-3. Kerr sends it across. Zebra's out of system. Ooh, Lily Lett just uh, protecting herself there. That was a big time hit. And the Zebra is able to get that point somehow. Great dig there by Lett. I think it was either dig that ball out or catch that one right in the noggin because it was coming at her hard. Dara Strasser back to serve. How to shell into the net.
Desert's back in for the Eagles. Binkley the setter back to serve for Culver. Gifford finds the inline. Puts home the kill, makes it 12 4. And the Eagles will take a timeout. Leading 12 4 here in set number three. And we'll be back in just a moment. Back here at Rochester High School, the Eagles take a timeout, leading 12-4 here in set number three. Coach Boland uh, wanting to talk something over with the girls. Binkley back at the service line here for Culver. Let, dug out by Gifford. Desrich dug out by Honkamp. How does Shell dug out by McGrath? And that one's going to sail long that time for Gifford. So a point for the Zebras. Clevenger and Bullinger checking back in. Uh, we'll put Riley Clevenger at the service line. Zebra's trailing by seven. And from the right side this time, Gifford puts that one home. Gifford back to serve. Eagles with an eight point lead here in set number three. Wilson goes in two. Eagles are ready for it. And that one is put home. Big kill for Crowley. Good serve there by Gifford. And that one wide for Honkamp. Gifford sends it across into the net though. Doran comes back in for Honkamp. Lily Lett back to serve for the Zebras. Really close to being on the line that time for the Eagles. And that one put down for Rochester. Binkley kind of had her foot across the line there, but no call on that one. Oh, miscommunication. Binkley came over uh, to get the set, and as she did so, she knocked Crowley to the floor and didn't really have uh, any option there as Crowley was down on the floor. Crowley off the block. Bullinger able to block that one back. Out of system, the Eagles get it across. Bullinger tips it over and gets it down for the kill. Drops it in front of Gifford. Good play there by Bullinger. So the Zebra's finding some momentum here, have it back to within six. Binkley back sent, Deserich dug out by Lett. Wilson tips it over.
And Crowley able to take a little off of that one and drop it down in that gap. Makes it 16-9. That will send back the sophomore libero McGrath. And again, they're able to drop that down. Good placement there by Crowley. It's two in a row that she's uh, taken some off of that hit and found that gap in that Rochester defense. McGrath sends it across. Bullinger, a little roll shot. Deserich dug out by Honkamp, out of system. Clevenger able to get it across. And a big time hit that time for Kerr. Puts that one home with some authority. Deserich dug out. Doran across. The dig there by Han Kopp. Wilson goes across in two. And that one goes wide. So Crowley not able to find the inside of the court. Wilson will go back to serve for the Zebras. Free ball crossed. Kerr into the net. Zebras get another point. Wilson continues on the service line here for Rochester. says, I'm going to take care of this one. Puts it home with authority again. I'll put Deserich back to serve. And blocked down on Rochester's side. Another point for the Eagles. Desert's just a freshman. Puts that one into the net. Outside hitter for the Eagles. I'll tell you one thing about this uh, Culver Eagles team, they have some height. Bollinger sends it across. And that one put home by Crowley. How to shell rotates back in. Crowley back to serve for the Eagles. 21-12 here in set number three. And that one drops down. Binkley kind of mistimed her jump there. It kind of rolls off the top of the tape and drops down on the Eagles' side. That'll put Hong Kong back to serve for the Zebras. And... Ah! They're going to give that to the Zebras as the Eagles were into the net, or across the line anyway. On comp with another opportunity. Overpass, Binkley able to tip that over.
And dropped that one down. Kerr with another kill for the Eagles. And the Zebras will take their first time out here in set number three, trailing 22 to 14. We'll be right back here in just a moment. All right, back here at Rochester High School as the Zebras take a timeout with the Eagles in front here in set number three, 22 to 14, leading the match two sets to zero. So trying to close this one out here in three. The big middle hitter, Jenna Kerr, back to serve for the Eagles. Rochester almost kept that one alive, but that one drops down for the Eagles point. Makes it 23-14. And that one in. Gifford puts that one home, sets up. Set and match point, Dig there by Honkamp. Let off the block and down. Let with the kill keeps the zebras alive. Still have match and set point for the Eagles. 24-15. And Dara Strasser will be at the service line for Rochester. Left-hander sends it across. Binkley goes in one. Zebras are ready, and that one goes down. Let with another kill. Match set point number three coming up. Long way to go here for the Zebras, but if you can eke out a, eke out a couple of points. Well, Honkamp keeps it alive. See if they can get it across. They do. Great play by Honkamp, keeping that one alive. And not able to on that one as Gifford puts it home. And the Eagles win in three sets here against the Rochester Zebras. 25-10, 25-13, 24-16. If you haven't had enough volleyball for the evening, you can go over to the website or check out the RTC4 sports app. And uh, we got Valley and Northfield from Tippecanoe Valley High School. We also have Pioneer and Caston down at Caston High School. A couple of big conference match matchups. Of course, Valley Northfield, a TRC matchup. And down at Caston, that's a big Hoosier North Conference matchup as the Panthers trying to win the conference matchup after the Comets had won the or the county matchup earlier this year. So. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in here tonight. Of course, tune in tomorrow night. The Battle for the Bell, our pregame, will start at 6.26. I know that's an odd time, but we have a 
little video that we're going to play, and then Randy and Val will start their pregame around 640. So uh, Talking Sports with Val will be on on Channel 4 uh, prior to the game, and then at 626 our pregame as Valley comes to Rochester, first time in four years since 2019 as the 21 Bell game was canceled due to COVID. So uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and we will catch you tomorrow night here from Barnhart Field for the Battle for the Bell. Good night, everybody.